Hello friends, and welcome to Frightnav House, and welcome to first episode of Blockbuster Inc. Let's make some movies. <coughs> um, I played a game called The Movies back in early 2000s, I think it was. And it was awesome, this reminds me a lot about that game. So let's give our studio a name. Of course it will be Fright Night Files. Fright Night Files Studios. Makes sense, right? So I guess our main uh, genre of movies will be horror movies. But for now, we can't even choose horror movies, I think. We'll do a normal difficulty. These are the four genres we can we can choose between. In the beginning and I know that in the beginning we can't make stunts we have to research that uh, later so action movies ah uh, no not so much we'll do comedy you want to romance or mystery I want to do mystery movies yeah that's the closest to horror we can get to and we can choose Themes as well. Uh, mysteries. You could have some vampire mysteries, I guess, and some medieval comedy. Yeah, that's fine. I'm happy with those genres and themes. Let's proceed. We will not be playing the tutorial. I kind of know what I'll do because I've seen some other YouTubers make videos on this. Or do you want to... None of them made the tutorial. Maybe you guys want to see the tutorial. Let's do the tutorial. Then we are absolutely sure we know what we are doing. I think that's a good idea. Alrighty then. Resume. Welcome to Blockbuster Inc. Let's go over the basic controls needed to play. Click the continue button below. Alrighty then. To exit the tutorial at any time, press escape and choose exit tutorial in the pause menu. Alrighty. Move the mouse while holding down middle mouse button to rotate the view. Uh, nothing really happens when I do that. What? Okay, now it works. <laughs> For some reason. Move the mouse while holding down right mouse button to pan the view. Alternatively, use WAST or arrow keys. You may also pan by moving the mouse to the edge of the window. Yep, got it. Scroll the mouse wheels from in and out. Yep, 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 yep. The most essential information is always visible in the main view. Let's go over some of it. This section shows your current fonts, release products, studios, studio fans, and employee count. Money? Products, employees, and our fans. We will have a lot of those, I tell you. This number shows your current ranking among other studios. The stars indicate your studio's prestige. Alrighty. We'll describe all these stats in depth in subsequent tutorials. This section shows the in-game date and time. Note that one day corresponds to one month. There you can. Should we pause the video? I don't know. Click this button to pause, unpause the game, the game time. You can also use the space bar. Got it. Click this button to change the game speed. Each press cycles between normal, fast and very fast. You can also use 1, 2 and 3. Got it. Next tutorial. Uh, okay, I will. Let's begin by going into build mode. Click this button or press tab. Select the wall rectangle tool and create a room. Got it. From indoors, doors, choose eh, something. Indoors, Doors. Let's put a door on here. 
I, I think this doesn't mind. We will start our own studio after the tutorial. I like, see this is called my company and that's not what we called our studio. Let's turn this room into a producer office. Click indoors, objects, producer office and add all four shown items into the room. Okay. Indoors, objects, producer office. Here we go. Okay. We'll need a desk in here. Put it in the corner, because why not? And then, this doesn't matter because we are not going to use this. We just put it in. Good job. Let's make writer's office too. Select the rank rectangle tool again. Here we go. And I guess we do the same again. Now oh, add a door first. Just use the same door. Yep. And objects. Writer's office. He needs the same stuff. Yep. Yep. And yep. We'll need a maintenance room too. But we'll use a pre-made room for this. Okay. Indoors, pre-made rooms. Maintenance, maintenance, maintenance. Here we go. Put it here. Great, let's add a canteen too. From indoors, pre-med rooms and canteen. It's here. Yep, there we go. Certain room types, e.g. the lounge, are currently locked. You can unlock them through research. See relevant tutorial. Another useful tool is the clone tool. Select it to try it out. Okay. Click and drag on the ground to select the entire producer's office that you created. Yep. Hey, we cloned it. Click on a free space to place the copied part. QRE to rotate. Okay. Now we have two producer's office. Now for the fun of it, let's turn this room into a toilet. Choose the bludgeon tool. Alright. Click on all the objects inside the copy room to delete them, but not the walls or doors. Alright. Now add all the objects from indoors, objects, toilet to the room. Objects. Toilet. We need, of course, a, a stall and a sink. Hey, All the essential facilities are ready. Time to, time to prepare for the actual production. Click the sets button. Sets. Choose any set and place it in the lot. Okay, we have a default set here, but we'll create our own when we get into it. Finally, let's confirm our change and exit build mode. Click the confirm button. Employees. Alrighty then. Time to hire some employees. Click the hire button. Here you can hire various types of employees. You can unlock more types by performing research. See relevant tutorial. Start by hiring an actor. So this is the actor, I suppose. This is the icon for actor, yep. Slow learner, but she's quite good charisma and athletic. Let's just hire her. The window that appears on the left shows info on your new employee. Let's have a quick look at it. The top part shows name, fame level and a preview of the employee. The middle part shows happiness level, skill levels, trades and salary. If an employee's happiness is low, hover your mouse over the happiness bar to show the reasons. No issues, that's good. She's very happy. Bottom part includes tabs for past experience, relationships and needs. Click the needs tabs. Here you can see the employee's need levels. Low needs will deteriorate your employee's performance and happiness. All right.
got it. Let's continue hiring empl 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 employees. Hire a producer. Okay, burn the frost, you're hired. Producers need to be assigned to a producer office to work. If you if you have already built one, when you hire them, they will be auto assigned to it. Let's verify that the new producer was assigned. Click on the production office. In the employee slots info, you should see the new producer. When in build mode, you can modify the assigned employee. Alrighty. Let's move on, hire a writer that will be assigned to a writer's office. Hire a director. Directors don't get assigned to any office, but they are called on set when filming begins. Okay. Hire a crew person. They are in charge of camera, shooting and other tasks while filming. Alright. Hire a maintenance worker. They are in charge of keeping the facilities operational. Alright. Finally, hire a staff worker for the canteen. Canteens and lounges need a staff worker to be functional. Okay. That's enough for now. Close the hire employees window. Is the music too loud? I think it's loud. That's a lot better, right? And hopefully it's not copyright. <laughs> now click the manage your employees button. This window you can view the employees currently working for you. You can filter by type using this drop down button. Okay. This section shows the name, age, happiness and salary of each employee. This section contains available actions for this employee, such as fire the employee or negotiate their salary. This image shows a photo and a type icon of the employee. You can hover your mouse over the type icon to see the type's name. Okay. Click the photo to quick select this employee. You can also select an employee by clicking on them directly, but this method allows selecting absent employees as well. If this employee is currently away from studio, a car icon will be displayed over the photo. Also, if the employee is in education, training, a student hat icon will be shown over the photo. The next tutorial, schedule. We'll need to set up our daily schedule. Click the schedule button. Okay. In this window, you can define the activities done per hour of the day. You can also choose the quality of the food served in canteen. Higher food quality is unlockable through research. See relevant tutorial. Okay. Let's assign the working hours. Click the work button. I'll do this tutorial so when we start our series, I don't have to explain everything, you know? Everything that I'm doing. Click on at least 8 hour slots to turn them into work slots. You can click and drag to quickly set a range. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 to, th eight to 3. During work hours, all filming and productive work takes place. However, too many work hours will make your employees exhausted and unhappy. We don't want that. Let's set the leave hours. During these hours, uh, during these, your employees return home and replenish all their needs. Okay, leave. Leave the property. Click on at least 8 hour slots to turn them into leave slots. Prefer to set a continuous range to avoid losing too much time in commute. Okay, they can go home at, I don't know, 8? That's 4 hours. That's 8 hours. If you have a staff canteen, your employees will visit it 
during eight hours to replenish their hunger without having to return home. Okay. Eat. Click the eat button and set at least one hour of eating. It's often good to have it in between work hours as a lunch break. Uh, okay. Then we should maybe at 12 o'clock. Then we need one more work hour. Yeah. Finally, if you have a staffed lounge, employees will visit it during the leisure hours. During them, your employees can hang out and restore their social needs. Employees will randomly chat with each other regardless of schedule, which restores their social needs slightly. This usually increases their relationships levels as well, but not always. Some people just don't get along. Just like real world. Product creation. Now to the good part. Let's dive into the basics of making a product. Click the product creation button. Here we will set up all the product details. The first thing to decide is the name or you can have a random one picked for you. Next we have various sub menus with options. The script writing menu will be initially selected. Click the product type and set it Set it to movie. Alright. For the product size, choose low. This affects the production cost and the expected hype and profits. Okay. Choose a genre. Selected genre affects the audience ages and the ideal genre slider values. Right. Let's make an adventure movie. Choose a theme. Your product will turn out better if you use a filming set that matches the selected theme. Well, that makes sense. Adventure. Medieval adventure. Yep. Choose an age focus. This should be appropriate for the selected genre. Yeah, it's an adventure movie, so why not general audience? Okay, not if it's Indiana Jones or something, you know. Click on the producer field and choose your current producer. Rory Bryant, there you go. Choose the director. Yep. Choose the writer. Yep. You should also customize the various genre sliders in a way that fits the chosen genre. But let's leave them as is for now. Okay. You should now see a green check mark in the script writing button. This means that its required details have been completed. All the submenus must be checked in order to create the product. Okay. Click the actors button. Assign the actor who will be starring in the product. Amira Marshall, you're, you're my star. Click the scenes and sets button. Choose set. Here you can plan the scenes and the sets on which they will be filmed. We will only have one scene for this product. Click choose set and select your set. Note, avoid using the same set often. It decreases its novelty. Ah, okay. Movie set. You can see the starting expenses and expected hype for this product in this section. Ah, okay. It's 100 is that. A good hype? Is it 0 to 100? I don't know. It doesn't tell me. Click the create product button to finalize the product. If there are any issues, you'll see a relevant warning next to this button. Create product. Your employees will arrive soon. You can speed up the time until then. Well, they're here now. Screenplay has been written. Moving on to filming. Yeah, this is going way too fast. <laughs> Moving on to filming. Your director, actors and crew should head to the filming set and film the needed scenes. Wait until they're done. Okay. Well, they're all hard at work. 
You now have the minimum needed scene taken. Scene takes. Let's see how it did. Click the info button on the progress widget. Here you can see the total scenes needed and the overall shooting rating, quality of takes. You can also see specific info for each scene by clicking on this button. Okay. 55% that's alright, I guess. For the selected scene you can see the current rating, quality of the best take so far. The first takes are usually not the best, so it's a good idea to do more takes. Click the reshoot button. Let's do it again. Wait for the new take to be completed. You can speed up time until then. If the latest takes rating was better, it will be reflected on the scene's rating. If not, the scene rating will stay the same. Well, that makes sense. This is enough for now. Let's finish the filming. Okay. The movie is ready to be released. Click the release product button. Yay! Your new movie is set for release tomorrow. Let's wait and see how it goes. You can speed up the time until then or press continue to skip the wait. The movie has been released and the first reviews by critics have just come in. They're usually harsh on small studios and films, but don't let them scare you. With enough work, your studio will rise to the top. Did we make a good movie? Say what you want about the dark book, but I had my fair share of laughs. Okay. Disturbingly generic story and execution. Oh. You can view a more detailed analysis of your product score. Click show score breakdown. The left window contains a breakdown of the factors that determine the result score. You can click each scene in product scenes to see its own influence to the result. Alrighty then. The sliders weren't that great. <laughs> Filming set team, 0%. Okay. The right window details the, the, the various costs and other outcomes of the product, product release, such as changes in fame and happiness for the involved employees. Okay. They are, are not happy. <laughs> but they're going from nobody to a little progress. Click continue to close this view and resume the game. This widget allows you to monitor the product's performance until it gets retired. You can click the top part to expand, collapse it. Okay. The bar chart shows the product's earnings per month. Hover your mouse on each bar to see the exact amount. The bottom row shows the total profits, profits, cost and fans and hype. Yep, got it. 75 grand? That's okay. This is 1920s, you know. That's a lot of money back then. Click this button to see a list of your products. Click on a product to open its information sheet. Can we move these? Yeah, we can. This sheet displays various information on your product. You can also use these buttons to watch the product review its reviews and score breakdown. Okay, we can watch the movie. Let's do it. It's a 14 minute long movie. Wow, what an, what an awesome movie. <laughs> okay, yep. Play next tutorial, direct scenes and watch products. We just washed one. When creating a product, you can customize each scene to your liking. Let's try that. Click on product creation. Go to the scene and sets tab. Click the direct scene button of a scene. Here you can preview the scene. You can navigate 
the view in the same way as the normal game view. Try panning the view using WAST. Yep. Click this button to reset the view after moving it. Left click and hold on the actor in the 3D view to begin moving them. Eh. Ah, okay, like this, yep. This section shows the products actors that are currently in the scene. Click on actor's photo to remove them from the scene. This section shows the available actors that are not in the scene. Click the actor that you removed to re-add them. Let's explore more options. Go to the animations tab. Here you can see available animations. First click on an actor in the 3D view to select them. And then click on the animation to... What? Ah, okay, I see. Yeah. Now go to the costumes tab. Same as before, with an actor selected, click on a costume to use. Let's make a vampire. Looking good. Now go to the practical FX tab. To use these effects, you must have installed the relevant equipment on your filming set. Options that are not installed will appear grayed out. Okay. Some fire. We have some fog. And we have some rain. Okay. Click on one of the effects to use. Yeah, I already have. <laughs> Finally go to the camera movement tab. While you're in this tab, the preview on the left will change to show the camera perspective. On this section, you can see various options for the camera movement. Click on an option to use it. This section lets you customize various parameters for the camera movement. They are different depending on the option you have chosen. So play around with them to get the result you want. Okay, we can have focus height. We can center this on her. Okay, we can zoom out. Gonna motion speed and uh, blah 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 and do all kinds of stuff. Awesome. That's all. Changes are auto saved, so you can close this window. This check mark shows that you have customized this scene. Scenes that are left with the default options will not have a check mark. Curious to see the result of your work? Click the create product button. Now let's film it. Ah. Click on finish filming. Release product. Hey, let's bring up the product and watch it. Pretty straightforward, isn't it? Now you know how to bring out your creativity in every scene and watch the result. Play next tutorial, stunts and doctors. Okay. Depending on the genres of products that you choose to film, you will often need to film stunt scenes in addition to normal scenes. That's exactly why I did not choose action for my beginning genre, because we have to research stunts. Um, you will often need to film stunt scenes in addition to normal scenes. Let's prepare for this. Click the hire button. Hire a stuntman. Note that normally you need to unlock stuntman and stunt facility in your research before you can hire stuntman. Exactly. Also hire a doctor. They will come in handy later again. Normally you need to unlock doctor office in research before you can hire doctors. Click on product creation. Go to scenes and sets. For this product, we will only have a single stunt scene to film. Click direct scene to set it up. For stunt scenes, you get to choose what kind of stunt you want to perform. Click the stunt tab. Each stunt has a specific number of involved persons and a specific chance of injury. Let's keep the default choice for now. 
but after this tutorial you'll be able to choose any stunt. Click the actors tab. Here you can choose which of the product's actors will participate in the stunt. You can also choose any of your stuntmen. Using your actors carries a risk of injuring them and delaying the filming. So let's use our stuntman instead. Remove your actor and add your stuntman. That's enough setup for now. Close this window. Click create product to begin the production. The stunt scene was filmed, but the stuntman was injured in the process. Good news is that you have a doctor ready to help. The injured stuntman will head to the doctor's office to recuperate. The doctor will tend to the injured employees daily and speed up the recovery process. If you don't have a staff doctor's office, or if it has no vacant beds available, injured employees will need to recover at home, which will take longer. Okay, play next tutorial, set equipment. The quality of your product scenes can be significantly improved by investing in the right set equipment. Let's see how to do this. Click the research button. Except for the most basic equipment, all other equipment has to be unlocked in research before you can use it. Go ahead and unlock the first camera upgrade. Spend 100 research points to unlock, yep. Feel free to unlock any of the other options if you want. When ready, close the research window. There are some lights here as well, so why not? Let's see how we can use the upgrade that we have unlocked. Click the build mode button or press tab. Click on the existing filming set to open its set info window. In this window, you can see the set size and theme. The scenes of your product get a quality bonus if the product's theme is the same as the filming set theme. We know that. You can also see the set's prestige and novelty. The set's novelty affects the quality of the scenes you film on it. Novelty is, is decreased when you release products filmed on this set, and it restores over time. So try not to overuse the same sets. The bottom section shows the equipment installed on this set. Click on the camera slot and upgrade to a better camera. Upgrade. And we also have some light here. Yeah? Yep. Adding or upgrading equipment comes with an expense, while removing or downgrading equipment yields a refund. Also note that you cannot change a set's equipment while filming, is taking place on it. Upgrading set equipment boosts the quality of the film scenes, and specific types of equipment provide other bonuses as well. For example, cameras provide better visuals and fire, fog, rain machines unlock the respective options in the direct scene menu. After releasing a product, you can see how the set equipment affected its quality in the product score breakdown, the technical section. The next tutorial, fame and rent. An actor of fame level one has just joined your studio. Famous actors bring a high boost to your products, but they also have more expectations from you. One expectation from famous actors is that you must provide accommodation for them. So let's rent a flat for this actor. Click the city view button. This is the overview of Los, Los Ricos and its various districts. You can hover your mouse over each area to see a brief information about it. Okay. Click on the house in grid row. It is the cheapest district in the city and perfect for level level one fame actors. 
Here you see the selected properties district, rent and required fame level. Click on choose, choose star and select your newly acquired level 1 fame actor. Click on rent this property for this actor. They will be happier while you provide them with housing, but you will pay rent regularly, so put them to good use. You can check an employee's housing status in their character sheet. Click the needs tab. This section shows the employee's current housing and rent. As employees gain fame, they will require higher level housing or they will quickly become unhappy. Same goes with food quality. Famous employees will require a higher quality food to satisfy their intricate tastes. You can unlock higher food quality through research, explained in later tutorial, and apply it from the schedule window. Finally, remember that only actors, producers and directors have fame levels. Okay, play next tutorial, finances and loans. It's a long ass tutorial. Eh? Managing your finances is an important part in keeping your studio going. Let's see how you can keep a track of them. Click the number showing your current funds to open the finance window. This section shows your income and expenses for the current month, grouped into categories. Yep. This field shows which months the data is currently displayed. Alright. You can change between months using the arrow buttons. Click left arrow to get to the previous month. This section shows the total income and expenses per month as bar charts. You can hover your mouse over the charts to see the exact amounts. Clicking on a month's chart will show the month's details on the left section. Click the February chart. You can also switch between monthly and yearly data. Try clicking the yearly button. So far so good, but what do you do when you are running short of money? Let's see how we can get bank loans. Click, click the bank icon. Click loans. In this window you can view your current loans and get new loans. Click the take loan button. Here you can choose a loan amount and the number of installments. Choose any amount above thousand dollars and click take loan. Okay. Take loan. The loan installments will be paid automatically every month until the loan is paid off. If you run out of money in the meantime, the payments will be paused until you have enough money again. That's handy. That we don't go into uh, to minus money, you know. You can have up to three active loans at any time. The credit limit shows the current amount of your loans and the max amount you can get. Okay. Play next tutorial, research. I think we're almost done now guys. Research is a powerful feature that lets you unlock all sorts of upgrades. Let's check it out. Click the research button. Here you can see all currently available research. Note that new research becomes available Every few years, you'll see a notification whenever this happens. The top row shows the available categories. Click the Genres and Teams button to see this category. Each research slot costs research points to unlock. This number shows your current research points. Let's see how we can earn some. We already have a research office, but we also need researchers. Click the hire button. Hire a researcher. Researchers only work during work hours, so let's set these up. Click the schedule button. Okay, two, about five hours of work. Great. During these hours, the researcher will head into the office and work to produce RP. 
This takes time, so you may want to consider hiring multiple researchers to work in parallel. Let's check out the research window again. For the sake of the tutorial, we have instantly gained some RP. Click on any research slot that you want to spend RP to unlock it. Okay, we only have 100. Okay, we can research the camera. Simple as that. Investing time and resources in research is a powerful way to get ahead of the opposition. Play next tutorial, charts. The boring stuff. <laughs> Let's see how you can keep track of the progress of various stars, products and studios. Click the charts button. Click star charts. This window lists actors, directors and producers employed by you or other studios. You can choose which category to view using these buttons. Each listing contains info such as the star's name, current salary, skills and more. For stars employed by you, you can click the details button to select the star. Try it now. For stars employed by, your st by other studios, you can click the business deal to negotiate an offer. Oh, we can poach actors. Awesome. This will be covered in a subsequent tutorial. You can click the column titles to sort the listing by that column. Try sorting by names. The arrow next to the column title indicates the sort order ascending or descending. Click the name column title again to change between ascending and descending. It's very in-depth uh, tutorial this is. Let's move on. Click the charts button again. Click product charts. This window lists movies by you or other studios. Once you reach the year where TV shows come and play, you'll be able to see them here as well. Each product listing shows info such as a product name, genre, theme and so on. Try click clicking the details button to open information sheet. For your own products, you'll be able to press the reviews button to quickly see the products reviews and score breakdown. Same as with star charts, you can sort by a specific column by clicking on its title. One more type of charts to see, click the charts button again. Studio charts. This window lists the studios currently in business, including yours. Click the details button to view an information sheet. This sheet shows information such as the studio stats, currently employed stars and released products. As a quicker way to access your own studio sheet, click this indicator. Apart from viewing the various information, you can also click this button to change your studio's name. Click it and change the studio's name to something else. Here we go. Okay. Let's take a look at one more useful window. Click the charts button again. Click awards. This window shows the earned awards for stars, products and studios in the award ceremonies that have taken place so far. You can see the currently displayed years here and browse through years using the left right buttons. Ah, play next tutorial, room maintenance. Keeping your studio lot in good shape is important for your studio's prestige and the happiness of your employees. Click a room to open the room info window. In this section, you can see the room's prestige and maintenance values. Prestige depends on the cumulative prestige of the room objects. Maintenance starts at 100% and decreases every month. Low maintenance will become obvious as the room will become dirtier. 
If maintenance falls between 50%, the employees working in the room will become more and more unhappy. Let's see how to keep the maintenance up. Open the hire employee button. Hire a maintenance worker. They also need a maintenance room, which has already been placed on the lot. Your newly hired worker will now get to work and restore the maintenance of your rooms and offices. That's all you need to know. Maintenance workers will make sure to keep your rooms in good condition every day. Play next tutorial, education and training. Let's see how you can hone your employee skills and get the best out of them. Click the hire button. Hire an actor. Here you can see your new actor's skills. Actors have two types of skills, charisma, which affects their general acting performance and athletic, which affects their performance in stunt scenes. Apart from actors, all other employees types have only one skill. Also, charisma is the primary skill of actors, but other employees types have a different skill. Let's see how we can raise the actor skills. Hire a teacher. Note that normally you need to unlock classroom in research before you can hire teachers. Now we have a teacher and a classroom, so we are ready to educate our actor. Click manage your employees. Click on educate to bring up the education menu. Note that this button is also available in the character sheet. Click on start to begin the education. It's a good practice to educate your employees during their idle time, e.g. between productions for increased efficiency. Educate multiple students simultaneously. <coughs> Sorry, my voice just went away. That's enough for now. Click the stop button. We previously mentioned that actors also have an athletic skill, so let's see how we can raise it. Click the train button. Same as before, click the start button. This time the actor will head into the stunt facility and train their athletic skill. Note that we don't need a teacher for this type of training. He just run through fire. <laughs> also note that normally you need to unlock stuntmen and stunt facility in research before you can build a stunt facility. Play next tutorial, post production VFX and SFX designers. It's a long ass tutorial. Let's see how you can improve the rating of your products. With the help of post production, open the hire employee window. Hire a VFX designer. They need a visual design office to work. There's one already placed by the tutorial, so they'll be auto assigned to it. Also hire an SFX designer, similar they need an audio design office to work. Note that these two types of employees and their respective offices have become available only after you unlock the post-production research. The first level of post-production becomes available in 1927. To learn about research, see the relevant tutorial. Let's see how we can make use of the employees. Click on product creation. Go to the post production tab. Note that this tab comes available only after you unlock the post production research. In this tab, you can see the available post production tasks. The tasks are sorted by level from left to right. Higher level tasks boost your product's rating more, but they take longer to complete. There's a total of 5 post-production levels unlockable via research. The higher a level is, the more in-game years it takes to become available to unlock. Click the assign button of any VFX design task and assign your VFX designer to it. Similarly, click the assign button, yeah it's the same. Each VFX SFX designer can be assigned to multiple tasks at the same time, but they will take longer to complete. Assigning a different designer to each task will let them work in parallel and finish the tasks faster. 
Tasks without assigned designers will be skipped and won't boost your product's rating. Also note that the final score boost is affected by the designer's technical skill. Click create product to begin the production. Alrighty then, finish filming. Your VFX, SFX designers, something something, all done, click the release product button. Wait for the product release or press the continue button below to skip the wait. Scroll to the bottom to see the post production bar, technical tab, this indicates the amount now this indicates the contribution of the VFX SFX design task to the technical score, which in turn contributes to the final score of the product. Alrighty. Play next tutorial, marketing. Marketing is a powerful tool for boosting the hype of your products, as well as the fame of your stars. Open the higher employees window. Hire a marketer, they need a marketing office to work. There's one already placed by the tutorial. Awesome. Hire one more. Each marketer can only work on one marketing campaign at a time. So sometimes you need multiple marketers so that they can work in parallel. Note that marketers and marketing offices become available only after you unlock the marketing office research, which becomes available in 1945. Let's start making a product to see how it can benefit from marketing. Click on product creation. Create product. Marketing campaigns for a product can be done at any point of its lifetime, but you will benefit most by running them before the product is released. Click the marketing button. In this window you can manage your marketing campaigns. Let's check out uh, the IP campaigns. First click add IP campaign. Choose your product from the list. Choose one of the available campaigns from the list. Each campaign has a different cost, required time to complete and resulting hype boost. There we go. Ready, you can monitor the progress of the campaign here. Once every day, the assigned marketer will work on the campaign and increase its progress. When it's reached 100%, the campaign will, compl will complete at midnight of that day. This is the expected hype boost that your product will get. When this campaign completes, increased hype means increased revenue. This is the monthly cost of the campaign. You can also see the total monthly cost for all your ongoing campaigns at the top of the window. You can pause or resume a campaign at any time, while paused campaigns don't progress and don't incur monthly costs. You can choose to finish a campaign before it's completed, however, you won't get back any of the money spent on it, and the earned high boost will be reduced. Apart from IP campaigns, you can also run campaigns to boost your star's fame levels. Click Add Star Campaign. Choose a star. Yeah, it's the same as before. Create campaign. When a star campaign completes, the relevant star will gain a fame boost. Use marketing wisely and you will see great results. Play next tutorial. Video Editor Let's see how you can edit your products using the video editor. Click on Product Creation. Go to the Scenes and Sets tab. Click on Video Editor. This is the video editor. The footage box contains the video clips from your product's scenes. This is the timeline. It contains the video track the subtitles track and up to four audio tracks. Hover your mouse over it and scroll the mouse wheel to zoom in or out. 
This is the video preview. Click the play button to watch it. Notice that the playhead vertical orange line moves to show the current playback position in seconds. Left click anywhere on the, on the time ribbon to place the playhead there. Right click on any clip in the footage box to preview it. Click and drag a clip from the footage box to the video track to add it. Left click and drag clips in the video track to reorder them. Make sure to drag from the center part of the clip, as dragging the edges will resize it instead. You can hold control when dropping to duplicate the clip instead of moving it. Hold control. Okay. Uh, are we reordering them? Yeah. <laughs> In the video track, left click and drag an edge of a clip inwards to trim part of it from start to end. Move away please. To restore the trim part, left click and drag the edge, yeah, just bam. Right click any clip in the timeline to open the context menu. Click delete to delete this clip from the timeline. Alternatively, you can left click a clip to select it, then press delete on your keyboard to delete it. Well, I already done that. Right click again any clip in the timeline to open the context menu. But I've deleted them. <laughs> click copy to copy this clip. Alternatively you can yeah, control copy to copy. Now control C of course. Right click a clip or an empty part of the video track to open the context menu. Click paste to paste the previously copied clip at this position. Press the undo button or control C to undo your previous action. Press the redo button or control Y to redo. Double click an empty part of the subtitle track to start making a subtitle clip. Write some text for this subtitle and press OK to create the subtitle at the click position. You can edit existing subtitles clips by double clicking on them, editing the text as before and clicking OK. As with video clips, you can move subtitle clips around using drag and drop and you can resize them by dragging their edges. Click the sound effects button to switch to the available sound effects. There's a lot to this game. Right click any other clip to preview it. Right click it again while it's playing to stop. Left click and drag a clip. Oh. Click on an audio clip in a track to open its volume slider. Drag the slider or adjust the clip's volume. Yep. Click this button to add an audio track. Hover your mouse over the timeline. Hold shift and scroll mouse wheel. Click this button to delete an audio track. Note that this deletes the track's clips as well. Makes sense. Click the track letter to collapse, expand. Okay. Finally, click the save changes button to save any changes you have made. This button opens the export menu, which you can use it to export a video file. That's all you need to get started. 
After releasing a product, you can see the final video by pressing the watch button in the product sheet. Yep. That was it. That was the tutorial. And this is where we will begin our own journey. And our own movie studio. To be able to see my playthrough, you will have to subscribe and also like this video. And hit that notification bell so you don't miss episode number one. Thank you for watching. Until next time, bye bye.